A successful hack could leave the United States vulnerable to military tax or cripple essential services. But Dakota State University is looking to create better warriors to help defend the nation. Uh, so if we want the United States to be able to defend itself uh, in the same way that we did 50, 60 years ago in traditional warfare, uh, the, the venue has just changed to the cyber world. How a new program at DSU almost guarantees top secret jobs defending the nation against cyber attacks on Ion Kelloland. This week, a new James Bond movie hit theaters across the country. The updated storyline puts Bond in the modern world of cyber warfare. But cyber warfare isn't a Hollywood plot line, it's real. The United States is ramping up protection against a growing number of attacks on federal defense and security networks. If successful, foreign attackers could severely cripple those networks, leaving the nation vulnerable. As Sean Neistead reports in tonight's Eye on Kelloland, a South Dakota school is taking a lead in preparing to defend our country with a new generation of warfare warriors. This quiet basement computer lab on the campus of Dakota State University in Madison doesn't look all that exciting. <laughs> but those who use this room affectionately call it the hacker lab. And they don't mind being called hackers. In my mind, it's just someone who likes to, to learn more. I mean, I've always been the kind of kid who's been curious to break apart the VCR, learn how it works, and it just furthered into, you know, went into computers and just kept wondering how everything works, how to, you know, break things to maybe make it better. In fact, hacking is what these students are learning to do. It's awesome. It's one of the best feelings in the world. The first time um, in class that I ever hacked a machine or got into a remote machine, I, I just remember this smile and this overwhelming joy that filled me. It was, it's, it's the best. Dave Miller is a second year grad student at DSU and is enrolled in the university's cyber operations program. That program is associated with the federal government and the National Security Agency. And cyber warfare is a very real threat. Uh, so if we want the United States to be able to defend itself uh, in the same way that we did 50, 60 years ago in traditional warfare, uh, the, the venue has just changed to the cyber world. Professor uh, Josh so Pauli says the federal government's computers and networks are under a constant bombardment of attacks. For years, the government has simply built up walls to keep those attacks at bay. Now, they're recruiting specialized students to maintain that protection and go on the hunt. You get to play offense, you get to be a hacker uh, to defend the country, but, but that's your mission. Your mission is to disrupt other countries. Your mission is to protect the U.S. with offensive measures. Of the four schools currently enrolled in the federal program, DSU is not only the smallest school, it's also the only public school. So there's only three or four kind of core top level agencies that do cyber operations. They need hundreds and hundreds of people that can do it, which is why they started the designation program. Uh, so the majority of our students are going to go do that for a set number of years. Some will be out there two or three years and want to move back. Some will be out there 20, 30 years and, and really become a core member of the, of the federal government workforce. The students who make it through the program not only have top secret jobs waiting for them, they'll become a frontline force. You'd think that puts DSU staff members under a tremendous amount of pressure. I think the majority of the pressure is internal, both from, from ourselves as faculty and our students. So our students are constantly pushing, pushing, you know, wanting to know more. Uh, we have a very agile uh, faculty that, that want to learn more and teach more. I know, I, right when we heard about the cyber core and that we even had the possibility for it, I tried to ramp up my studies as much as I could because, you know, it is such a big opportunity for a student and, you know, especially in the world we live in now, it's hard to find a job and having job security, that's probably one of the greatest things about it. And in the end, the computer work of these students will make our world a safer place, and they'll be some of the world's most advanced cybersecurity specialists. With Ion Kelloland, I'm Sean Neistat. Nearly 30 universities applied to be part of the federal program. The others that met the NSA standards are the Naval Postgraduate School, Northeastern University, and the University of Tulsa.